Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today we're going to build this awesome assembly table. Got a lot of stuff to do, so let's get busy.
Okay, in the video I showed you two different ways to do the feet. I uh, showed you put casters on, which you can, and that's what I chose with. Um, and I showed you some leveling feet. Now the leveling feet wasn't my idea. It was made by uh, Ray over at Tab Left. And I'll leave a link in the description to his video down below. He explains it and shows it in full detail. But essentially it's leveling feet made out of hockey pucks. Um, I used half inch hardware. I'm not sure what he used, but half inch would be fine. Um, the top is made out of the tiger ply plywood and it's set up on edge so you can actually see the ingrain. And uh, I think it looks cool. There's uh, two coats of Brie Wax on the top and it's nice and slick. So glue shouldn't uh, stick to it too much and uh, I should be able to work on this. Overall dimensions is roughly 24 by 48 and uh, I think it's perfect for the spot that I'm going to put it in which is pretty much right here. 
Now I did chose casters instead of the leveling feet and the only reason I was even considering the leveling feet is because my garage is uneven and you know assembling stuff on on a roll around table might move around and stuff so that's why I was considering the leveling feet. Now I probably will end up going back and putting the leveling feet on here. I've worked on this just a few times since I've had it up and I've already noticed the rolling around even with the wheels locked. Now I don't even know if this is going to be its exact home or not. It may end up over here on this wall once I'm completed with that wall and it might live there and if it does live there I will definitely put the leveling feet on. The bottom of the legs are ready to go for the leveling feet I just need to swap out the leveling feet for the uh, casters. Now let's take a look underneath. So down here at the bottom, I just got a sheet of plywood I just cut to fit uh, underneath and I notched out around the legs. Nothing fancy here. Uh, this also gives me a place to hold the Craig Foreman. And uh, if I need to use the Foreman, I can just put it up here on top, use it, and then put it away. This also gives me a place to put a small shop vac so I can keep the top clean. On the shop vac hose, uh, it kind of sticks out a little bit uh, here in the front of the table. And then I got it coming around here into a hole that I uh, wallowed out for uh, just to hold the hose out of the way. So I can use the hose and then uh, put it right there and it gets it out of the way and it's not dangling all over the floor. On the other side, I mounted a power strip on the inside and then I got uh, a couple dowel rods wrapped in PVC to hold the uh, wire out of the way. I'm going to go back and revisit this. Um, I like the idea, I just executed it wrong and I may do a whole separate video just on these, this power cord um, holder, I guess. And uh, so we'll take a look at that another day. But the top is going to be nice. It's, uh, it's pretty strong. I jumped on it. It didn't move at all other than wheeled across the floor because the wheels move pretty good. Um, I will probably end up going back and putting the leveling feet on. Again, go check out Ray's video at tab left. Link in the description below. And I will try to put plans out for this on my website as well if you're interested. That's really all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.